So for our Plum Creek computer build, we're going to use the Antec 900 gaming case. What's great about the Antec 900 gaming case is that it's actually a really great value case. You can generally find this case for between $50 to $60 at a retail store, or you could also find it on eBay or Amazon or, or uh, even uh, Best Buy as well. So it's a, actually a widely, widely available case. What's also great about this case is that it's made from cold world steel, which means it's going to be hand cutting free. And what's great about a hand cutting free case is that you could actually uh, work quite in intricately inside the case and not cut your hand. I actually had a friend that bought a uh, cheaper case for between uh, 15 to 30 dollars and he actually cut his hand and needed stitches and sort of negated any kind of savings he had with a cheaper case. What's also great about the Antec 900 case is that it includes three 120 millimeter case fans and it also has a very good 200 millimeter case fan at the top of the case that blows hot air out of the case. What's also awesome about this case is that it's uh, it actually kind of has a nice design style to it. Uh, some people don't like the front LED lighted case fans but I kind of find that it's a uh, kind of neat to to look at. Uh, it actually adds some flair to the case, if you will. Uh, Antec cases generally are very well built. This case is about, uh, trying to think in terms of pounds, it's about 18 to 19 pounds. And it's a, it's a very reliable case. It's very sturdy as well. What's great about this, this case is that you have uh, two front USB ports. You actually have uh, one 1394 front panel port as well. You have a reset and power buttons logically laid out up at the front of the case. Uh, there's also a little slight indentation at the top of the case. It's for a media tray. Uh, it's kind of an old concept where if you had an iPod or uh, if you want to charge your iPhone on top of your computer, uh, it's a nice little slot to, to drop your phone or or iPod in to charge it up. So let's actually go and pull out this case and we see that in this unboxing that we have the manual right up front there and generally a lot of times people don't read the manuals I would suggest uh, at least take a glance through the manual so a lot of your uh, questions would get answered in there and let's go ahead and pull it out it's very nicely protected um, this case also has a great uh, side panel too. It's a kind of a nice acrylic cut side panel. And here we, you actually see our work area. This is because we're at the Plum Creek campground. Uh, it's actually we're actually using a picnic table and we just put a bed sheet cloth on there to protect the table. And here's a nice shot of the 120 millimeter case fan at the back and the side panel acrylic there. So what's great about that is uh, it has a little flare right to the case as well. So let's get this thing unwrapped. Uh, power supply is at the bottom. And just a beautiful case right here. And you can just kind of envision where the motherboard would go right there. It's just a very awesome looking case here. And it's uh, what's great about this case is that it's not a very complicated case. It's everything is very modular. Everything is very easily laid out, and it's you're not gonna get stumped on like how you're gonna take something apart or how you're gonna put something back together. I'm gonna take the case side panel off from the bottom of the motherboard side. Uh, I need to take this case panel off so I could access the drive bays later on. So in the next videos, as we add in the hard drive and, and uh, Blu-ray player, we'll be able to add those things in there. I'm going to take the uh, other side panel off, the motherboard side here. And we'll have to take a look inside the case here. And we see that it's a, 
it's a mid-range case, so it's going to be somewhat cramped in there. Uh, but we'll we'll figure out how to work through that. Um, you do have two cable management areas. Not a whole lot, just kind of a basic no frills type of cable management. Let's position the camera a little bit better here. And we'll go and pull out the uh, white box in the center there. Or not center, but uh, bottom, bottom of the case here. And it's stuck in there kind of tight, so we'll go ahead and pull this out. You're here you're going to find all your case screws and miscellaneous uh, parts as well. We have a, a three and a half inch floppy drive front panel bay, and uh, it's 2011, so not a whole lot of us are actually using floppy disk drives, but it's there in case you need it. Uh, actually, most of us might actually use that front panel for a uh, card reader, SD card reader uh, media bay. Uh, the only flaw to this case is that the power cables may not be long enough, and in the next and upcoming videos, we'll show you how to deal with that as well and because the motherboard doesn't slide tray doesn't slide out we'll be showing you in the upcoming videos how to slide your motherboard in here as well too and how to get that properly aligned